Hey there, this is Chris Itzma from Teach to Fish Digital. Um, this is uh, one of a few videos in a series that's going to talk about some things you can do to help track different behaviors on your websites and apps uh, through uh, Google Analytics, but specifically implemented by Google Tag Manager. And so the first one we're going to look at here is uh, a YouTube tracking. And so there's, uh, there's some tags you can add through Google Tag Manager to track, number one, the number of times videos are viewed on your website, but also which which videos are viewed and for how long. And so this particular uh, tracking and, and tags, these these help uh, do a couple things. Number one, they listen for YouTube embeds. And so essentially the tags look for or listen for uh, the placement of YouTube embed code on your website. And when that is actually found, they get ready to uh, pass information through to Google Analytics when those videos are actually played. Not only do they show when videos are played, paused, exited, etc., they also show uh, the, the, por the portion of the video that's watched. And so they will fire an event every time someone gets 25% of the way through the video or 50% of the way through the video, 75, all the way through the video, etc. And then when it comes through to Google Analytics, the, uh, the metrics will indicate Number one, what videos were uh, played in terms of their YouTube IDs, but also the title of the video. So it's pretty helpful in terms of understanding um, how people are interacting with video that's placed on your website, uh, whether they're being those videos are being watched, and the length of time uh, over which they're watched. Now, all of this information um, is actually there's some there's some step by step instructions on how to set this up, and and I found um, an excellent post that I've relied upon. Uh, countless times from Cardinal Path. Here it is. There's a link to this um, video also. I'll provide it. Um, I'm sorry, there's a link to this post I'll provide to you as well. But this will walk you through how to set it up um, step by step. The purpose of this video that I'm providing you is to kind of show you what it looks like once it's all set up um, and show you um, how to test it and make sure that it's all running properly. And so there are a number of uh, tags, uh, variables, and triggers that you'll want to set up within uh, Google Tag Manager for your website. Uh, I'll, I won't belabor the point here in terms of just the number of tags and triggers that are available. We won't walk through this, but we will kind of show you what it looks like. Here's our sample site. So we're going to see how many times people are playing this particular video on our, on our little sample site we've got here. Um, within Tag Manager, uh, there's a couple of things you want to do. So um, going to the overview here, um, anytime we want to see uh, the different tags that are placed, we can just look at our tags. Um, and there are two separate tags here that we'll want to create to make this uh, YouTube tracking a reality. You can see them right down here. There's the YouTube listener, and essentially this just, again, listens for embed code for uh, YouTube. So if a YouTube video is placed on a website, uh, much like this one is here, um, that tag essentially listens for that and makes sure that it's ready to fire an event. When, when that event is ready, this, this uh, tag will pass that event data through to Google Analytics. So you can track, number one, how many times videos were played, how far into the video uh, people got when they watched the video, and what specific videos um, were watched based upon their video ID and video title. Now, to set all these up, you'll actually want to create a few custom variables. In Google Tag Manager, you might have seen um, a tutorial from myself or others before. You can configure what variables are, are running in here. And so if we hit the Configure button, you can kind of select from a uh, a list of uh, pre-constructed variables, but we'll actually want to create some custom variables to make this a reality. One, one is um, YouTube is present, so that's going to help with that listener tag. And then there are also some, also some data layer um, category, action, and label uh, variables that you want to set up. And these are just kind of uh, open variables that will pass the correct data through depending upon whether a video is played, paused, exited, uh, if someone gets halfway through, 75% of the way through, etc., and they're variables because that that the value within them is going to change depending upon what the behavior is, what video is watched, etc. So you want to create variables to start. There's also a couple of triggers that you want to create in Google Tag Manager. Now these triggers will help fire the events at the appropriate time. So one is this YouTube is present or YouTube present uh, trigger, and then a YouTube event trigger. These are associated with the uh, listener. And event tags. Now, all of this is explained really, really well in this 
uh, post that I mentioned earlier, and they do a good job of updating this when Google Tag Manager makes edits, etc. Um, but that's how that works. So since we've got all this set up already, kind of got it good to go here, what we'll want to do to make sure this is running properly, since we've got our YouTube event and YouTube listener tags in there, is uh, let's preview this. So if we go to our preview uh, in debug mode, uh, that'll be set up there. Anytime you want to preview a page, you have to hit refresh before you can actually see what's going on. So that'll bring up this little pane right here. And right out of the gate, you can see that it loaded some, some tags. We've got some AdWords conversion and remarketing tags. Our analytics page view tag, that feeds data through to analytics. But we've also got this YouTube listener tag. Now this is only appearing because it essentially listened for the fact that there's a YouTube video on um, this particular page. Okay, so now if I play this video, you see some other things happen here. So right out of the gate, you saw um, a YouTube event fired a couple times. The reason it's firing more than one time here is that it fires on the initial play and then um, at 0%. And so once it reaches the 25% mark, it'll fire another event. When it reaches the 50% mark, it'll fire another event, etc. So that'll be helpful to you in terms of being able to track all that in analytics. I won't, I won't let this go too, through too long, but when you actually, um, you want to test this obviously with the preview mode, but when you see what it looks like, um, there's a third time because it got 25% of the way through. Um, when you see this in analytics, it'll look a lot like this. So you'll be on your um, behavior events, top events, and you'll want to find the YouTube event category. Within the action area, you'll find a number of different behaviors. So this is kind of what it looks like. You'll see how many times it was played, paused, exited, and then what percentage of the video the video viewer was able to get through. Okay, so that'll be important to kind of determine how long videos should be, whether videos are really engaging or not, etc. On the event label portion of this, let me show you what it looks like for this particular website. Um, it'll pull through the video ID, this little a combination of letters and, and numbers here. There's a video ID from YouTube, but also the actual video uh, title and how many times it was played, etc. So um, that'll help you in terms of being able to track uh, YouTube activity. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to uh, uh, ask me questions via email or, or find me on Twitter, etc. If you have other questions about how to get uh, your YouTube tracking in order for your website um, with Google Tag Manager. Have a good one.